can't. I have to laugh because uh, Bill is downstairs making my coffee. So you should hear me yelling messages to him and him yelling messages back to me. Not anymore. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. Okay. Hey, y'all, look. Thanks, babe. I, um, it's been raining and raining. I don't know if y'all can hear it. I have the window open, but it is like a rainy, rainy day. But I'm good with that because I know many of you are in a, you know, like just getting it like right now with some really bad, bad weather with snow and ice and all of that. So y'all, please, please, please be careful out there. So we... This is not a release day. I'm not, we're not releasing this stamp set. This will be released tomorrow during our mindless crafting at midnight. I was going to say mindless madness at midnight. Tomorrow we uh, are going to be um, having our mindless crafting at midnight, y'all. So I'm really excited about that. Take a nap. Yep. Take your naps. We're going to be doing a release. This is the stamp set that we will be releasing. And this was one of our digitals that y'all asked to turn it into a photopolymer set. So this will be available in the store at 12 midnight. How do you say that? 12 midnight. Time. Yes. During the mindless crafting at midnight. I was going to say midlife. So let's see who's here. How are y'all doing? So you get to have a sneak peek because y'all requested it, right? Y'all talk Bill into it. Hey, Crafty family. No, I accepted it. This was it. Yeah, I got it. Um, it's finally getting warmer in Wisconsin. And what does warmer mean? Like it's only... It's only 20 below. 20 below instead of, you know, zero degrees. Hey, Tisha or Tesha? Tisha. Uh, Lori Bokatan is on here. Hi, She Lori. said it is frigid in Michigan. Yeah, so we're going to do a sneak peek today. I'm really excited because y'all get to see um, what we're doing. And then I'll tell you about what, what I'm going to be showing y'all how to make. It's one of the ideas that y'all came up with. Um, for the, uh, the, what that we'll be making for um, mindless crafting at midnight. Look at me. I haven't had my coffee yet. That's why, look, that's why I'm forgetting all my words, y'all. <laughs> and I'll have that ready after this live. That, uh, you know. Hey, Catherine. So we got a, we got a free digital for y'all as well. So. And I'll have that ready after this live. Right. I got it. Let's see. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, let's see who said that. There was a beautiful comment that came by. Uh, les Obli hobbies de, Ga de Gabay. The hobbies of Gabby to Gabby. Yes, that's it. Les hobbies. Hello, I'm French. I don't understand what you say because my level in English is very bad, but I love your creations. You know what? Well, you just typed that in really good, okay? I just read what, so you know uh, pretty good. I'm, hopefully, I'm, you know, you can still understand some of the things that I say. Gabby. But just, just join in, Gabby, and welcome. We are more, Gabby. That's all of my friends. Angela, Angela, she said, I still have to watch the video about doing the digital downloads. Yeah, Angela, go ahead. girl, go and get those things, okay? Go and get the um, yeah. <laughs> go ahead and watch it. You you're gonna have a good time. So um, I think y'all are ready for this um the preview of the stamp set that's gonna be released during the mindless crafting at midnight. I thought it would be fun. <laughs> you know what? While I'm thinking about it, for those of you that are interested in doing the digital downloads, but you have an iPad, on your machine, you have Pages, and Pages is an absolute beast. It is incredible. So just watch one of the, watch the video on our playlist, 
that talks about how to manipulate digital images in pages. Pages is phenomenal. I mean, if you actually have an iPad or anything Mac, believe me when I tell you, it, it, it is the game over with that yep. one. And we're going to be having a free digital, uh, a free digital, look, a free digital freebie, <laughs> a free digital image for you as well. So let me plug up my phone because I noticed, um, I, yeah, I need to plug this up. Okay, y'all. So um, let's go ahead and reveal this. Now, this is not in the store right now. It won't go in until the uh, Mindless Crafting at Midnight tomorrow so i'm pretty excited i'm gonna take my naps i'm gonna take several naps okay uh, can you permanently group the yes. images and pages yes you can yes yep so for the reveal y'all have asked for this this is actually a photopolymer that is available as a digital image are you ready Here we go. This is a four by six stamp set. This is the Hugs and Fishes stamp set. If you remember it, you probably already have the digital. Now we have the Hugs and Fishes. Yes. In a photopolymer that you can stamp out. So we're gonna be stamping this out today. Let me just put that aside. We're also going to be, uh, Bill and I were working on a um, fishbowl. Because you can't have fish without a fishbowl, right? So we made a div divital. <laughs> I made a divital. I made a divital. We made a digital. <laughs> He's starting already. He's starting <laughs> Digital. A digital image, okay? <laughs> okay, look. So here is the digital, right? Fishbowl for you. And I'm going to show you how I colored it in. I'm going to, I did an embellishment that, that I'm going to add to a card today so you can see that. Look, Kathleen German. Oh my goodness. How are you, Kathleen? I know you're going through it right now. Just know that I'm praying, you, praying for you and I'm sending you a hug. Praying for Tom. Exactly. <laughs> Tisha, Tisha, Tisha said, Tracy and Bill, go back to bed and you know get what? more sleep. Tisha, that's while. the problem. Okay, normally I sleep about four hours a night. I I mean, I've passed out last night. I didn't wake up to about 1045. For me, that's just ridiculous. Look, there's a no sugar creamer in here, okay? Look, Diane said, what is in that coffee, Tracy? This is a decaf coffee with no uh what is that low fat creamer it's no sugar free sugar free creamer <laughs> we're trying to be healthy y'all um this digital right here that trace the one she's doing with this these fish bowls after this live i'm going to put them in that free digital download area and everyone that's already signed up for the free digital downloads i'm going to put send that out in an email form so you, all you have to do is download them for those of you that may be trying to sign up for the for, <laughs> that may be trying to sign up for the free digital download, but for some reason you're having problems, sometimes the solution is to use another email. I don't know why the system wants to act up like that, but if you have another email, it will uh, it'll take that second email. And if you have any problems after that, just email me at admin at minuscrafting.com and I'll just personally send it to you. you know? I'm going to put the, the, the email in here now. Go ahead, Trace. Look at y'all making all of these suggestions. <laughs> she said, well, that's what's wrong. You need some sugar and some fat. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We've been doing pretty good on the healthy eating, too. Hey, y'all. Trace, you got those kettleball things I was joking about? Yes. Those things are no joke. They are incredible. I love them. He was laughing about them. We were doing the kettlebell workout. Because it's like... And Bill had to move to the other side of the room because he thought that he might hit me in the head. With yeah, because I, I didn't have the stability <laughs> I thought I was going to have. I said, Tracy, she said, you can stay by me. I said, Tracy, if I stand by you any longer, about about another two minutes, I'm going to slap you upside the head with this kettlebell because I'm know, laboring. Look, 
so so y'all let's get back to this because y'all talking about coffee and sugar just mentioning the name sugar makes me want <laughs> some okay <laughs> help me to help myself to help bill okay i gotta stay strong for bill he's the weakest link okay you know he's the weakest link when it comes to eating healthy Yes, Shannon, this is a fish bowl. It's not available yet. Bill is going to uh, put it in after we get off this live. He's going to put it in the store. So this will be a freebie. So you can go to mindlesscrafting.com and get it. So, But someone said this, if you turn it upside down, you can make a snow globe. I didn't think about that. You know what? You sure can. I'm looking at that. Yes, I told Bill this morning, this was my idea. I said, Bill, we we, we have to make a um a bowl, a fish bowl. So that's how it came out. That's what I'm sticking with, y'all. So here's the thing. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp these out. This is actually a new one that, that stays in the store. Here's my used one. And so let me go ahead. I want to kind of stamp these out in the same order that they're in. Let me get my paper here. What are you doing, man? It's fun. fun. Margie LeBeau says, Hi, I'm Margie. What kind of camera do you use? And how did you get started in selling kits? You inspire me so much. Oh, Thank you. So Keep up the good sweet. work. That's so sweet. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, it depends on what you're it's, saying. Right. It's a long story. If um, you're live streaming, we use the we, phone. Yeah. Right now, I'm using my, um. what kind of phone is this? Samsung. Uh, S10 Plus. Yeah. But any phone that can, has capability, most cameras. People do some amazing things with their phone. Some people have made movies that you see in the theaters using the iPhone and the Samsung. Barbara, she said, that fish tank would make a good shaker card. Hold on, Barbara, because I'm going to tell you what, what I'm going to be making tomorrow during the Mindless Crafting at midnight. It's going to be a shaker fishbowl. Y'all yeah. gave me that idea, okay? So let me go ahead and... Um, oh, Bill wanted to show the camera. Well, I was just going to say, when we're actually doing, when we doing tutorials and stuff like that, we use this Samsung uh, A6400. But you don't have to have anything that elaborate. The bottom line, even though this does 4K and all that sort of thing like that, most systems aren't capable of uh, producing 4K or, or picking yeah. it up. All you need is a camera. That, this, this is how we met Kenneth. Remember? Right, that's how we met Kenneth. Yep. But all you need is a camera that is capable of shooting 1080p. You can get those so inexpensively. It, it, it just defies imagination. You know, a couple of hundred dollars, some some under under two hundred, and you're off and running then. Yeah, I say start where you are with what you have. Phones are so advanced right now, you can do it. Okay, so just take it step by step. Don't try to figure out everything. Um, yeah, think about what you want to sell in your store. Um, set up your you know where you want to. Because you have to have a place to put the store, right? A website to show your product. And right. you already have a camera that's capable of taking pictures. But all you need is your and phone, then, really, um, first. Right. And then uh, make sure you have a place for the money to go to. Right? Hey, uh, Look, I'm already hold saying up. that. Tracy can <laughs> hold up. I don't think y'all really understand the significance and value of what she just told you all. You have to have a place for the money to go there are people that out here right now, uh, uh, some of them may be you, that have incredible, incredible creations that people actually want to purchase. But when they ask you, how do, do I get them, you don't even have a mechanism for them to do so. So you're going to have to do that, you know. Uh, I mean, that's just how it is, you know. So. Right. But and then just don't, don't get... Don't try to figure every single thing out. Right. Because you'll never have everything perfect. We still have stuff that we need to do, even right. though we're into our third year. Just baby step it each day. Yeah. What can I do today? And the way we started, in a nutshell, then I'll let Tracy get rolling. In a nutshell, Tracy started doing YouTube videos, tutorials because she loved crafting. 
Uh, we have almost a thousand videos on this channel now. Uh, but we started doing that. And once we got to a certain point, once we hit about 100,000 subscribers on this particular YouTube channel, people were asking, do you have a product? Do you do this? Can you do this? Can you offer that? And finally, we listened. We said, can we do this? And I said, yes, we can. I didn't really know how we were going to do it. Right. I started Sometimes doing a lot of research. Right. The answer is yes. You know, when you're asking yourself, can I really do that? Do I think I can do that? The answer is yes, you can. All you have to do is start asking questions. And what we did, we just used Google. How do you do this? How do you get this, the manufacturer? How do you find this? How do you create the, this? How, type that into Google, and I guarantee you, you're gonna the answers are gonna start jumping out, on, whether it's on YouTube or Google. Right. And, and baby stepping. Yeah. So we did ours in reverse also. Most people create a company and then they create some sort of uh, a way to to sort of let people see what they're doing. Then they create some a YouTube channel or something, Vimeo or whatever. We did the, the, the mechanism first, like creating this mighty stream of viewers and then put a product in front of the stream and it instantly just... Right. You know, it's like having a fire hose and, on and throwing something in front of the water, the stream. Right. Yeah. So I'm just kind of stamping these out in order, kind of, you know, and then I'll go back and I'm going to color them in. And yes, you sure do have a lot of um, companies have uh, angel policies. So if you make if you use our product and make a card, you can sell them. We have people who ask us for permission to sell the cards. Oh, so yes, you, if you, um, if you, so if you take the image, you can't sell the image, but if you take the image and this is just for mindless crafting and you make a card using our image, you can sell that card. If that helps. Oh, Marcia Burton has a really good question. She says, the problem I have with digitals is the original size of the stamps. I make them too big. What is a good stamp size? Well, here's the rule of thumb. The, the, you know that your card is what? Four and a half by, what is it, Tracy? Uh, four and a half by five and a quarter. Okay, so it's four and a half. No, four and a, look, four, four and a quarter. In width. By five and a half. In, in height. Either way, yeah. So you can kind of guess from there. If you look inside like the, the tutorial I did, Using um, you can resize Libra them. Office. You see right on the side it has dimensions, height and, and width, and just guess the baby. If you know if the card is only four, roughly four inches wide, then make your stamp image about the, the size you think would go and that you want it to be inside that card structure. You know, does that make sense? So each image you can kind of guess you can see the, how you big can, you, you want can, it to be. You could actually see the me the measurements. You can see the measurements. Right. right there. You just hold the corner of it and right. you, it'll show you with your um, cursor. Right. You hold the corner and it will say, yeah. All right. Hopefully that answered that question. Okay. Let's see. I think so I make mine in so many different um, sizes. So like for this. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Diane Nugent says, uh, oh, disappeared. Hold up. You see how this comes in so many different sizes? This is probably the size I'm going to use for the shaker for the um, for mindless crafting at midnight. Diane Nugent says, if you take a tiny plastic bag in front of your fish image and put hair gel in the bag, it really looks like the fish are in water. Oh, yes. You know who That's did that? That's a good that? one, Diane. Asia did that. Asia did she that. She sent us a card like that. Yeah. She sure did. And that was pretty cool. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, Marjorie. Marjorie the both says, thank you. So glad you're uh, making this. You're doing this. You're making my day. As far as the other question, Mar Marjorie LeBeau, it's it's so extensive. We would have to talk for hours. And we simply don't have that kind of time. But probably days. Yeah, but you know what? YouTube University. But you're right. YouTube University. Believe me, there are some people out here. And we don't pretend to have everything figured out. Um, so if we, if we make a mistake, I, you know, I will be the first to tell you, sorry that we made the mistake and y'all are just so forgiven. We have such a wonderful, supportive community. 
Exactly. I'm just stamping these out, y'all, right now. Oh, um, Vicky Jensen, I, I didn't, I didn't send the new digital out yet. I'm going to do it after this uh, live. And what for you? I'll just go ahead and send yours. Oh, she usually has an issue with her. Yeah, thing. she. Yes, I don't know. We've been. We'll Vicky get and I have been hammering this out. We just beat our heads against the wall. I just send it to her directly now. <laughs> Vicky's probably like, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have such a great supportive um, community. So. You know when we when we who's root who have rooted for us every step of the way from when we released our first kit to to now you know it's just amazing and we're we're, we're so thankful somebody sent a really good question so thankful to be on, on this journey and i and we feel so fortunate every day we bill and i wake up and we're like oh my goodness not only do we get to do something that we love we have a chance to to motivate others also i'm just looking at what y'all are saying sorry oh this is a good yeah one. so so that's one of the big things too we have a uh we can connect with people i mean it's just amazing marge lebeau says and which book did you read for this i'm taking notes like like we said most of the stuff we did we went to youtube university but as far as books, I can promise you, there were times Tracy and I went to Barnes, Barnes and Noble. Nobles. You remember that, Tracy? Yep. Barnes and, and Noble. We sat in there for hours we, before we, we even had any kind of business. We knew, knew that we wanted to work together. Um, right. We would stay there about six or seven yeah. hours straight. But we, you know what? YouTube has definitely allowed us to meet so many amazing, amazing people. And just the kindness that y'all show to one another, it's just absolutely, you know, it 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 gives you hope, you know, in, in people, in the goodness of people. Right. And another thing, don't worry about think about things like, oh, but what if it's saturated and, and I'm just another person out there? Here's the thing. I heard a really good quote last night. The guy says he started on his YouTube journey. Years later, he started to do it years before, but he kept saying, but there's so many good people out there, and who am I to? He says, what I started to realize later, later as my skill developed and grew even further is that what, what I bring to the table will create a space for me. Yeah. You understand? So what you, every one of us has something, a, 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 a collection of unique gifts that's unlike anyone else on earth that that has ever lived before or will ever live again that can never be put together unlike anyone else that's each and every one of us so i promise you it doesn't hurt any of us to help the next person because what god has for us he has for us and what he has for you he has for you so there is no competition believe me oh yeah that's, that's true babe Gene Johnson says, don't laugh. <laughs> I finally got this Sorry, recording Gene. card to work. I'm sorry, Gene. I'm laughing. This is this is laughter of joy. It's this like is joyful the light bulbs laughter. Go yeah. <laughs> she said. Gene, uh, we're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Look, Margie LeBeau said it in a nutshell. You said it in a nutshell. We are we're all unique and everyone does it differently. Exactly. You don't have to do it the way I do it. You don't have to color the way, the way Tracy colors, color the way Denise colors, the way she colors, Gwen colors, the way she colors, Vicky. You know, we're all individuals. And so it's just an absolute joy that so many individuals who come from different walks of life can come together because they love crafting. So, yes. Ah, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and color. I'm going to color these in and then I'll show you what I did with that fish tank. I started something. I started something, Bill. That, this is the last thing I want to say. Then I want to let you, you know this not quiet. The Look, y'all know this is not the I last have to thing say this. say. <laughs> Brenda Bowen said, made a very good comment. She says, oh yes, we are all the perfect us. He created us to be us. Nobody can imitate me uh better than i can 
just be me. But here's the problem most of us have. We're so busy trying to imitate everyone else, we never have time to find out who we are. Yep. You know? And that's why I tell people, they're like, how do you do YouTube for so long? Because um, YouTube can burn you out. Um, you have to be yourself. And people want authenticity. You know, they don't want like this show. I mean, you know, we got enough of that. And so Bill and I are just whoever we are. You know, we are who we are. And do we get criticism? Yes. Do we do care? We have, you know, do no. we have haters? Yes. <laughs> but it's okay. Yes, in a few minutes. You're let, gonna... let me keep on going and uh, do my thing. For those of you that are watching these thumbs right here, in a few minutes, there's proof of that. There's going to be <laughs> one, there's two people that have joined the, our channel that are going to click on the down thumb. Do we care about that? No, we don't. Don't nope, just do you, babe. If that's what they like to spend their time doing, joining the channel to come and do that, thank you for the YouTube analytical uh, interaction. <laughs> ah. This little starfish, y'all, look at look adorable. Just starfish with the eyelashes. Look, fishing you a great day. I'm shellfish when it comes to you. You are a star and floating by to say hi. Y'all will be shocked at how many emails we got about this stamp set right here. About by turning them in. Oh the yeah, this polymers. one. Yeah, this one was a really uh, popular one. I'm, I'm checking the quality of my video because I, for some reason, it's not as good as I want it to be. I click on the gear, and for some reason, it was on 480. I'm gonna go to 720p. I want to make sure that I have at least the highest resolution possible. Thank you, Mary Sheridan. She says she loves that stamp collection, getting it despite the taxes. Uh, Mary, where, where do you live? Out of curiosity. She says, so inspiring and sweet in everything you do. You open up a whole new beautiful world for me and the friends. Oh, in Ireland. Oh. Ireland is beautiful. I saw some pictures on, on uh, Google. I was shocked. I should have been, huh? Hey, why would you be shocked? Okay. Hold up. Okay, I'm going to, this little cutie pie right here, the octopus. I've never seen an octopus that looked that friendly. Okay, let's, what do you think? I'm thinking for the um the octopus. I don't know, like maybe a lavender. I don't <laughs> a lavender. I can just do it in whichever. My poor uh, laptop is not working properly today, so y'all bear with us. Bill won't be able to type anything right now. He's got to do a restart. Might have to plug it in, babe. Brian Dickey, you've been watching us since 2016? See, I mean, we've got friendships like... And the nice thing is that so many of you have formed fr friendships away from the channel, away from the uh, um, the uh, group on Facebook. Look, Oscar the octopus. Look. <laughs> Look, you go scuba diving and... Um, Run into uh, Oscar the Friendly Octopus. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Bill, have you ever been scuba diving? Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding? 
No, I'm asking you. Have you? I'm not. No. <laughs> no, I don't. I scuba dive in a swimming pool, maybe. I'm watching you draw that octopus. What you I mean, once you question. see, look, okay. once you see Jaws. Exactly. You know. <laughs> it's enough for me, okay? God, it wanted me to scuba. He'd have made me a fish. <laughs> No, but I'm ser I'm seriously, I've I've heard people say I may try it one day. My sister in law and my brother in law was quote Marine. Yep, they, they sure said did. they loved it. I might go. I'm being funny, but I might go one day. We no. were actually wanting to go on a vacation with them. Um then COVID where are they gonna go? Aruba or something? Yeah, somewhere. Or, uh, one of the islands. Saint Lucia. Yeah, they wanted us to come with us. And then we were like, we had planned it, and then once um we were getting to that stage of saying, you know what, this year we're going to go with you. And, of course, the pandemic. So yeah, once the it pandemic canceled that because it would have happened in December. So everything got canceled. We were like, oh, no. But, yes, they were like, oh, y'all should go scuba diving. It's so peaceful down there. I would probably have to save Bill because I don't know, babe. Once you see I've something, too much. I've watched too much Wild Kingdom to want to go and, like and stuff like that. And I've seen all kind of jellyfish and <laughs> sword nose fish, and, you know what I mean? Puffy fish. Y'all are too funny. I'm like, please. God forbid a shark. Bill, shark, sharks, I heard, don't bother you if you don't bother them. You want to put it to the test? <laughs> Look, I saw Jaws when it came out in the Look movie. Look at the shark in the movie theater. Oh, when it when it was like a film, like there was a a release of the film. We saw yeah. it in the movies for the first time. Okay, I'm telling my age. Yeah, we sat in the theater and watched it to see Jaws on the big screen like I that. I know, and then that music. Look, and I was right. screaming. We were, okay, you know how I told you how we when, watched when, when the you, movies in my neighborhood. We right. were hollering to scream at them. Don't you hear the music? Don't you hear the music? Dun, 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 dun. We were all, <laughs> that music would make you almost kill yourself just to hear it. <sighs> <laughs> Look, uh, some seaweed touch your leg, brush up on your leg or something. Or if you have a cranky brother, a prankster brother that kind of like, Grabs your leg underneath the water, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Don't play like that. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, getting back to my. Uh, Look at Marcia Burns said, "What if something touched your leg?" Please. That's what I was saying. Please. What my brothers would anything? do. My brothers would do something like that. Well, y'all know about my Hexer State Park ordeal. Y'all do not want to hear that story again. <laughs> My Hexer State Park, there's a, a beach there. And y'all, when I tell you I was running on top of water, I was about in fifth grade. And this was, I think this may have been, I'm not sure if Jaws was out by that time. It may have been. It wouldn't have mattered if I think it was after yeah. Jaws. Jaws was Jaws was out already. Woo! <laughs> Y'all, my sister, every time I talk about that story, she she cracks up because she was out there with me in the water, okay, at the beach when I stepped on something, okay? Talk about running at top speed. If there was a world record to be broken by a fifth grader, I broke it that day, okay? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. I saw, thought I stepped on my sister. <laughs> Look, Linda said you walked on water. <laughs> Look, I thought I stepped. We were splashing along. I was okay. I had seen Jaws, but I was like, that's a movie. I had already put in perspective. You know, you're brave. Talk myself into going into the water. And the water's kind of murky, so you can't really see under it. That makes even worse. Once my so me and my sister out there just having a good time, splashing about, swimming, doing all kind of stuff. Look, <laughs> <laughs> I stepped on. I thought I stepped on like a person, a, which the friend. only person that was next to me was my sister. So I said, "Oops, sorry, I stepped on you." She was like, 
you didn't step on me. <laughs> Once she said that, <laughs> y'all, I was at the shore, okay? I was back on the sand. <laughs> I left my little sister out there. <laughs> she said, you didn't step on me. That was like... <laughs> That's not all I needed to hear. I know I've told y'all this story before, but it just cracks me up, okay? <laughs> oh, um, my goodness. Hold up. Nikki. Nikki Antevero says, <sighs> how do I find your older videos? It keeps showing me the same ones. Nikki, okay, if you look beneath this video that you're looking at now, you see where it says Minus Crafting? The name Minus Crafting. If you click on the name Minus Crafting where Tracy's image is, it will take you directly to the channel. Right. You'll be on the home page. And so. then if, when you get to the channel, you can you'll see the home videos, playlists, community, that sort of thing. You click on videos, you can see all of them. It's, and Tracy's extremely meticulously grouped everything together, being the librarian that she is from in playlists where you can really zero in. So you can pretty much see everything by going directly to the channel. Just click on her name. Let's keep it simple. Hi, Kathleen. We're praying for you. Kathleen has See you, Kathleen. Um, uh, update me on, on Facebook if you can, Kathleen. Uh, and something else. Sonia Homewood says, Sanja, is it Sanja? I hope I said that correctly. I love how you fall in love with your characters that you create. You know what? I can see when John, our art, artist, is making these, I can already see them on a card. So if I'm not super excited about it, it won't it won't get like there's a lot of images that just didn't make it. Um, so, yeah, I have to be pretty excited about it. Tisha. Let's see. <laughs> I know y'all don't get the crafting police after me. Water is not pink. <laughs> Bye, Denise Glisson. Denise is going. See you, Denise. Denise. Prayers for you also. Yes. And Margie LeBeau yeah. says, I'm making coasters, trivet stays, or something like that. Bottles, oils, and vinegar, salt and pepper cans, and everything. Oh, so you do. A little bit of everything, huh? That's awesome. Trey says, have y'all seen the meme of the penguins that touch the water and move away fast? That was me. <laughs> My sister, if I called her up and told her about that, tell her about that same story again, she would start cracking up. She was like, oh yeah, Hexer State Park. No wonder I ran track, right? <laughs> I didn't run track for nothing. Okay, let me get a lighter gray here. This is a... I got to test it out on this. This is a blue gray. Mercy, I mean, Benny's, Benny Freak says, the older I get, the more scared I get of the open water. You know what's really interesting? The older I get, now when you you know when you were younger as a kid, you didn't think, oh, the water's gonna be cold. All you saw was, yeah, every time you got to the beach, you'd run out and just you never thought about it. Now the older I get, you look at I don't even test the water with my foot or nothing. I just think to myself, oh, it's gonna be too cold to even test with my foot. It, but I shouldn't do that. I, I shouldn't would think the worst, but the older I get, I start thinking that about things like that. So when I go to the beach, I don't really get in the water. I bring a book. And you I sure do, sit baby. down and eat the canopy. You'll get in, like, to cool off, and then you'll be right back on the shore. Only because y'all drag me out there. That's the only reason why. They talk about me so bad until I have to get out there. So what's good of going to the beach if you're just going to sit on the side? I like the sun part of it. Well, there you go. Kathy Irvin says, hello from freezing tea. Katy, Texas. We have oh my leaky pipes. goodness, Texas. So no water, but we have electricity right now. Oh, I'm praying for y'all. Texas is really going through it. Look at my 
my penguin? What's that? That's um, no, not penguin. Look at me, dolphin. Dolphin. What? Jules what is the dolphin? Skylum. What is the dolphin's name? Flipper. Yes, that's what. That's the one. I like Flipper. Dolphin. June says, "Bill, the older you get, you get scared of Tracy." <laughs> She says, uh, that's just joking. No, you're serious. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are funny. <laughs> Deb C says, she hesitates to say it, but she never lost power or water, just the internet. It's amazing how you can lose the internet and you'll feel like you lost power because we're so... Connected now. Yeah. We Hi, had we, all we have is rain and flash flood warnings. And then when it gets um when it gets at night, it freezes over. And then so that causes a situation. Um, this stamp set, which is not in the store yet, it's going to be in the store at mindless crafting at midnight tomorrow. tomorrow. Not Midnight tonight, tomorrow, Friday. Well, how do you tomorrow? Okay, eleven fifty-five p.m. Yeah, eleven fifty-five p.m. Eastern Standard on, Time on Friday, p.m. on Friday. It these are the stamp sets are um what, four by sixes. Thirteen. Uh, they normally uh thirteen ninety nine. Yeah, right? but yeah, with the ten percent off discount on it for the first weekend. Yeah. So that comes what twelve sixty, I think. Something like that. Yeah. So it'll be like if you was to get it, it'll be twelve sixty if you were to get it this weekend. Oh, the bell man. Well, it was quick. That, that sounded like a bill. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bill they dropped. Look, he's not rushing to get to the mailbox nah, today. I huh? on that one. Okay. Yeah, if y'all hear that outside, it's it's the um <coughs> That's me, Gwen Watson. It's, it's the rain. Gwen Watson says, I like to sit by the water, but I can't swim. I, can I like swim to go little, I like to go in. But I still like to sit by it. I like to go in. The shark's not going to stop me. Okay, y'all. So, you know, you can do so many different things. You can, if you want to color your stuff in a, a whole different color, you know, just you don't have to stick to any particular colors, right? Let me show you what I you notice I didn't stamp the fish out. Let me show you what I did with the fish. Debbie Couture says, I'm excited to get the fish bowl and try the shaker card. We'll oh work my out goodness. Great with the project I'm working on. Yes. That's gonna be so fun. So look at that. This is the one. Look, y'all. Look <coughs> how adorable. How cute. Is that? Oh. Is that not the cutest? And I use my Adaxi markers to color that in. But if you wanted, you can print this image on colored paper if you want. So imagine what that's going to look like when I when it turns into a shaker card. When when I make this a shaker card. Hi, Britt. So if y'all remember this particular image right here. If y'all remember that, that's from a different stamp set. These bubbles are from a different stamp set. So don't be afraid to use your um, your different, your other stamp sets. You know, you don't have to use all of them together. So this one, I thought I needed something in here to stamp inside. And here's a smaller one here that I was working on. So I got the Sympathy stamp set. I took the sympathy stamp set and I stamped it in here to give it some kind of background and it worked fine, right? So how adorable is that? So yeah, you're going to y'all are going to love this digital image cuz you're going to be able to do so much. And then I took the mermaid stamp set, right? I took the mermaid stamp set and I went ahead and Stamp the little bubbles there. Now this one right here, that's the other one I want to do. I want to take this and maybe, maybe color that in 
Maybe I'll put it in the shaker. There's so much you can do. You can use the little splashes. You can, oh, look at this. These would be cute in here. So you can like trade out images for different things. Got the seahorse. And don't forget, this is actually a digital as well. So you can do so much with that. Yeah, so I took some gems and added them. I was like, oh, some blue ones. I thought about putting some... Um, I was going to use some, uh, like the white right rhinestone, white rhinestone, look, white. Or you can do pearls, too. So I was going to use these, and I said, you know what? Those blue ones would look pretty good. Allison Pepper says, do you sell those markers? No, the only thing we do is put the link uh, directly to where you can find it. And I'll put that link for you. They are oh really yes, enamel dots would make really cute. Yes, and or I'm I can use these the glossy accents to fill in these. So that's one of the things I want to do too. But I want to add it to a card first. So isn't that just look? Look what I did with the fish. How adorable! Now, if you were to get these in digital, let me show you what the digital looks like because this stamp set is available in digital. Look how much bigger the fish are. So they're a lot bigger as on the digital. So you can size them however you want. So if I wanted to, I can make, I'd probably make my fish bowl a little bit bigger for that one. So these are all digitals. You can drag and drop it into the fish bowl. So you can use this with just about anything. Um, and just like y'all said, with this, making this into a snow globe would be really nice, too. So just trying to give y'all some ideas. But tomorrow, we're going to be making a shaker. Okay, I just put the link to those Adaxi alcohol markers, the 168 count. Also, be on the lookout when you get there. I think they have a $5 off coupon, which makes it even lower than it already is. Oh, I love these Adaxi markers. 168, that is okay, one of so the best deals you can possibly get for markers. You know, I want to stamp out a sentiment here. At this level. Stamp out one of these. Let's see. Oh, A. Adele Smith. Let me give you the uh, link. She says, where do you purchase your stamp sets? I love them. We create them at Minus Crafting. So I'm going to give you the link. Just directly to the store. And check us out. Okay, so fishing you. I'm going to use this one right here. Okay, A. Adele Smith. A. Dale Smith, I just sent the link right there so you can see it directly. Make that little goldfish in there. Hi, Clarita. This is just so fun, y'all. Clarita so fun. from Argentina is here. She says, hola. Hey, Clarita. Hi, Asia Rutledge. Hey, Asia. We were talking about that card that you sent with the, with the hair gel in it. Oh, yeah, that was something else. It was hair gel or... Oh, Nikki says, what are humpers? Those are mountain oh. tape. <laughs> I couldn't figure out the name of all the stuff Tracy he had in here. He comes up with his own name. So I have to rename it so that I know what I'm talking about. Y'all. And then why, even though I know that now that it's mountain tape, it kind of sticks in my mind as humpers. It sticks in my mind too, because along with it, so many other people. It humps up the image, like dimensionally. So I call them <laughs> humpers. You're welcome. Adele Smith says, thanks so much. I call it mounting tape, but I have been inclined. <laughs> now, Marcia Burton says, how do you blend the markers? Maybe on the next uh, time she colors, Tracy can talk through it. So like this, uh, let's see what we did here. Let's do a sample here. Oh, let's do a sample on this. Princess the web is... There's a ton of um, tutorials, too. I'm, I feel like I'm still learning the blending technique. You get better each time. Princess says, Bill, did, did you did you send the fishbowl digi or is it for purchase? 
No, I'm going it's to, gonna be free. I'm, it's free and I'm gonna put it in there after this live. And if you've already signed up, uh I'm going to send those to everyone on the list that has signed up for the digitals. And they might ask, how do you say exactly? Up? I have something to look for it now. <laughs> okay, hold up. Okay, let's see. I gotta make sure I have the colors here. So with this fish bowl, I didn't really do too much blending. Um, it was very simple. So, like, let me take this one right here, this smaller one. Okay, and while she's doing that, for those that are new, if you go to the website, and when you scroll down, eventually you get to a point. Right here it says, free digital download, sign up below, right? So, then right here where it says, enter your email, you would put the email in there and subscribe. And we'll send the download to you. Now, those of you that may be having problems, I'll, it, it just won't keep throwing you out. I always recommend using a secondary email. I don't know why the system acts up like that, but use a different email and that will work out for you. Okay, so I have a lighter colored blue. This is actually um, the Adaxi marker pale blue light, right? And I have this other blue. So I usually have my little strip to test colors out on just because sometimes even though they have a cap that looks like this, the color just doesn't match. So I like to test it out, have my little swatch. So this is the pastel blue. So what I, what I did, I started off with the pastel blue because to me, it looked like it would be a fish tank color. So uh, Tracy. I started at the... Nothing. Go I start at the bottom here. Go ahead, babe. I was just gonna say you're never gonna believe this, but Linda Huppin found finally found her lost ink pad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it took three I, days. It's like we're all in the crowd room. We're like, <laughs> we know each person, you know, what little issues they might have, you know. Like me. For me, it's it's not putting the tip on the glue bottle, but you know, the pen in the glue bottle, so y'all will remind me. And it's just so nice to just be able to sit. And just with everybody, just kind of chit chat, you know. Okay. Now I'm gonna leave Tracy alone so she can really break this process down. Cause... Well, this is just for the it, for each image. To me, it's like a different little technique, but it, this this will work. So now I'm gonna take this other color, the lighter color, and I I want to color the whole bowl in. So you see, it's not exactly looking like that. And this is just me doing this. And I'll go back and neaten it up in a little bit. I'm just laying my first color down. I like these Adaxis because it just I just like the way the alcohol marker works. Okay, so right around here. Okay. Now I'm going to take the other one, which I started here, and I'm just going to go like right along here right now. Just so I used the the um, the wider the broad tip because I had a larger area to cover, and now I'm just going to go in with the fine point here because I don't want it to be. Uh, I want to have more control. So I'm just trying to cover a smaller space. So I just go back and forth with these until it looks good to me. So nothing fancy. Some say lay down your lighter color first and then go in with the dark and then go in with a medium color. So you can blend with like three colors that are somewhat similar. But I don't have it all figured out. I just kind of go for it. Because if you don't start, you'll never, you'll continuously think about it and say, oh, I can't color like that. Or, you know, just, just keep practicing. So you see how that's spreading out a little bit now? Now I'm going in and just kind of just grazing along these lines now, right along the edges. 
and to me because I like edges on my coloring now I'm going to just take this marker and just go like right along the edge here just barely along the edge to give it some kind of outline to me it just looks better like that okay right along the sides here And now if I want to go back in again, the thing is to, you want to kind of uh, blend while it's still wet. So I'm just, because I don't want water to look perfect, you know, I want it to kind of look like water, right? <laughs> Marjorie says, yes, you just have to start. Once you start, you just keep going. Just keep going, yep. See, that doesn't look too bad. And then if I want to bring that color out more, <laughs> right? If I want to bring the darker color out into, like, this lighter color here. Julian Gilbertson says she lost one of her stamp sets. I can't find it anywhere. So oh, I my ordered goodness. a new one. Of course, now she's going to find it because just oh, because my she ordered goodness. it. Oh, my goodness. Never fails, okay? Okay, so see, yeah, I want to like, if I want to like more or less bring that darker blue, I'm now taking the lighter one and just going even further out. Right now, I could take my broader brush using the same color, the lighter color, take the broad part of it and just kind of smooth it out even more. And for those of you that didn't get a chance to see that uh, tutorial I did the other day, check it out. It's going to really help you manipulate your digital images and the freebies. Just practice on the freebies. Yeah. So you see, it's not perfect, but I like it. See that? Linda says, how do you store your markers, horizontal or vertical? Um, <laughs> I got them going in all kinds well, of directions. Some are right? horizontal. I got, them, I got them going in all kinds of directions. <laughs> so seriously, you have, you have several uh, stands that are horizontal, and, and there's a case that comes where they're vertical. But I'm thinking horizontal will probably be better, what you think? Um, I think horizontal, yeah. Like, just have them laying down. Okay, so let me just... Uh... Yeah, you could give it a minute to dry, because at first it might look kind of choppy, but once you let it dry a little bit, oh my goodness, it looks... Everything just kind of blends together. I think that's the, that's the thing I like about the alcohol marker. Right, so I got that darker color going around the edge, and then I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to kind of sweep it out a little bit here. I'm sweeping, y'all. I'm swiffering. <laughs> I was doing my swiffer yesterday, wasn't I, babe? Yes. I was getting a whole workout in. Okay, not too bad. And so it's wet right now, so I'm just giving it a little bit, a chance to dry a little bit. And then if you want, you can go in even more with the darker marker. Let's see, and just kind of right around the edge, just a little bit. Or you could even use an even deeper blue if you want. You know, like another color, darker than this. And you could go even deeper. Okay, the Beanie Freak says she stores hers vertical so the ink is always at the nib. It doesn't dry out where I need the color. LaFrance, you're welcome. She says, thank you for that video, Bill. It opened up so many crafting possibilities. Oh, nice. Yeah, once you start learning how to manipulate these digitals, it's just a whole nother, whole nother level. So you see how that looks? Um... Yeah, look at that. It looks good, doesn't it? And so you can do this technique for just about any of those, uh, just about, yeah, just about any thing you can do it. Or you could just do straight on color, 
You just want to do the whole blue and say, I don't want to blend. Exactly. Okay, so now that we got that, let's go ahead and add this on here. I thought it would be nice to put some, use some of this baker's twine. And wrap the top around here. I, I had orange, so might as well use it. It goes with the fish, right? <laughs> Thank you, Asia. Asia says, Bill, you read so fast and fluently. He's a reader. My mother was a teacher. You best to had read. And his wife is a librarian. I was reading since so I was he three. He bet to read. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the things I loved about you, babe, when we met. Yeah. I was like, this man got some books. He must be smart. Linda Huffman says, have you ever considered offering colored digitals? We've thought about it before, Linda. Patricia McNeil says, where did the fish bowl come from? Uh, we created it. I haven't. I'm going to put it. Those that have signed up for the digital images, I'm going to put it in the Minus Crafting Construct right after this live. I just didn't get around to it. And uh, those that have signed up, I'm going to automatically send the emails to you so they can download it. Now I feel like I want to... Yeah. Okay. So let me let me get this done first, because I you know I got another idea now that's coming out. I'm thinking about, and I haven't even finished this yet. Does that ever happen to y'all? Let's see. Yes, thank you, Brenda. Something like this. Something. Like, I don't have this figured out. I'm just kind of going with the flow. Mindless crafting, y'all. I can't wait for our midnight session. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, I like the way that hangs off. Okay, so um, now if you want, you can add this to a card. But imagine you can make a whole lot of embellishments. And then go back in, like a lot, whole bunch of these, and go back in and make, turn it into a card. Thank you, Brenda Bodwin. Vanessa Angel Rose, how you doing? Vanessa, we've been playing phone tag. I've been trying to get you, and I think vice versa. Vanessa, the midnight crafting session is tomorrow. Uh, Here it is. 11.55 p.m. will be there. Yep. And, we, and this will be released into the store at that time. And you'll you'll actually have this ahead of time, the uh, freebie. Um, Thank you, Donna Satterley. Your girl, Trey, what? She, ran, she said, I hope I get my glue to complete my projects. Well, if you don't get it, just get a hammer and a nail, okay? So she can make something with us tomorrow night. I hope you get it, too. Cardi Girl says, finally, midnight crafting. I don't have to wake up early for Hello from Akron, Georgia. What? Rebecca. Was that Rebecca? Rebecca. Rebecca. Hey, neighbor. I used to work at uh, Kennesaw Library, Kennesaw Public Library, and then I... um would go like to fill in sometimes like for story time at Ackworth Library. Libra balance. Libra says, Bill is mad at me. He's not reading any of my I'm sorry, Libra, but Libra, there's so many of them go by. <laughs> Let me see what Libra has see, been saying. If y'all can see. <laughs> Let me go back and find Libra balance. Let's see what I want to do with this. This is computer uh, just like let's see. My computer's acting up, too. So. Yeah, it's time for another one. You've had it about 10 years. No, I love my computer. I don't. Anyway. Okay. Let's see. That's okay. <laughs> That's my okay. God. Go so slow, I might as well just get paper and put it up on the screen. Mm. Stop talking about it's my stuff. It's a step above dial-up right about now. 
You know what, babe? I'm not even listening to you right now. I'm going to go ahead and make my uh, card. Tracy, uh, Kyra Kahlo says, Tracy, can you recommend some good reads? Good reads in what category? Some fiction reads? But not, what area are you talking about? <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> you know Tracy, she's going to go there. Believe me when I tell you this. So I've been more into nonfiction lately. Inspirational nonfiction. Libra, Libra said, "I can." What feel, did Libra say? I can fill the fishbowl with my tears. Libra, <laughs> why are you crying, Libra? Because you won't read her comments. I'm sorry, Libra. Family. He's not doing it, Libra. <sighs> Bill's not doing right, Libra. Okay, I am looking for the paper that I was working with because I don't want to cut into more paper. So I need to use the paper that I already Libra. have. Oh, it's right here. Oops. <laughs> I'm so far behind. Read. Yes, you are. Okay, let me find. Lori says, Lori Bokerton says, please find my last question and give me your opinion. Thank you. Let me find Lori. I'm going back into history now. Passing by Asia Rutley saying she's sitting here eating a dill picker with a peppermint. That sounds oh really a plate. That what sounds really appetizing, okay? What a combination. How did you even think of that? <laughs> I think I want a dill pickle. <laughs> yes. I know. A peppermint stick. Okay, let's let me keep going. Uh, that makes me happy. This right here, this makes me happy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that down Lori real Bach quick. Lori, Lori. Trying to find Lori. Oh, here it is. Lori says, Tracy, did y'all see my painted record in the group? I'm considering starting a small business doing it. I think you Please should. Please let me think what know what you think. I think you should. Yeah, I do. Look. <laughs> I saw it. I don't even have to see it in the group. I can look on my wall. Right. Oh, my goodness. I think you got something there. Hey, y'all, seriously. We have a handful of items that go on our wall because we have so many things to come in. And you when have to know. she sent us that. Uh, that Lori sent us these albums. Both of them are on the wall. So creative. Okay? I think you should. Those would be great for anniversaries or. Or anything. Yes. And you can get the records at like thrift shops too, so that keeps your costs low, I would think. You know, oh, you can find them at at, at uh, what do you call those things when people thrift have, stores, garage right? sales too. Yeah, garage sales, thrift stores. A lot of people have albums because they don't have record players. No more set. They don't. They don't really sell them anymore. Okay, let me get back to this. But yes, Lori, the answer is yes. <laughs> Certainly, uh, let me see. June Cole says, hello, this is June from snowy New Jersey. Hello, Les Levies. We'll be getting a new printer. I love what you're doing with the stamp sets. Again, you make everything so simple and relaxing. Thank you, oh, June. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm not, I am not here to stress y'all out. <laughs> uh, Kira. Only Bill. Oh, Kyra. <laughs> She says, I want to receive all of the stamps automatically sent to me. Just sign up for that list that I showed you. No, on. no, no. She's saying the stamps. Oh! We don't have a stamp for a stamp of the month club. Or you know the, what? Oh, maybe the images. You you might be right. Uh, okay, Kyra, are we talking about the free digitals? digitals or are you talking about the actual photopolymer stamp sets? Because we can send the free digitals. You just have to sign up. Let me know because uh, we've been kind of tap pick dancing around the, the stamp of the month club well the pet you know the pandemic we were trying yeah, to get that, that up last off. yeah last year but nikki says will you be this making something so with the cute. burlap burlap paper anytime soon um didn't we do something the other day we, we did the banner oh did yeah, you yeah, see the did. banner um the, the uh how, 
Look at me. Halloween banner. Halloween? That don't sound soon. Let me get some more coffee. <laughs> Let me get some more coffee. Yes, yeah, it poured on the hand. Ho- I mean, the, 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 um, the Valentine banner. Yes, yeah, she just did it. Tracy, Benny Freak says, guess who's watching with me? Benny Bear. He's out from the hospital with his quadruple bypass and watching oh our usual minus crafting <laughs> show. Oh, my goodness. What's up, Benny? Oh my goodness! I'm so glad to hear He's that. Let me say my name on that on, on international TV. <laughs> I might be trying to hide from somebody. I'm on the witness protection program. Okay? <laughs> Stop, <babe. laughs> I don't even want my wife to find me. <laughs> oh, y'all are funny. I see y'all talking behind my back. <laughs> How about I went to go get some coffee? Let me see if I can hook this back up on here, y'all. Woo, I don't know what happened. Okay, so can y'all see me all right? I don't know what happened. It just completely shut off. A good thing I was still talking too. <laughs> I was just still thinking, I thought I was having a conversation with y'all. It's Benny's fault. Benny did it to us. He said, <laughs> Benny, Benny, what? How? <laughs> Benny said disconnect. He put an internet backhand on us. Okay? Hopefully we could still. Is it still doing it? Is it turning? No, it's on my, like now on my phone, I can see the comments and everything. You can put your hand on the Gwen screen. Gwen says she can see and hear me. You have to do something with that. Okay, let me try yeah. that. Let's see what happens. Let's see. We're going to see because we don't. On the TV, I'm spinning, so I'm going to. We got the little spinning wheel thing. Come out of it, and I'm going to go back in. Oh, they can see me. Yay. Okay, good. Good. Okay, but if you put your hands, I can't tell if you're in or not. They can see me. Okay. There's a little bit of a delay here, but they can see me. Yeah. All right, y'all. Oh, okay. All right. Benny. I lost y'all for a minute. Libra Balance did it. She got <laughs> mad at me because I didn't talk to her. <laughs> Libra said, how you know Libra it's said, her? what? Gotta blame it on someone, huh? Brenda says, it's your fault, Tracy. Going for coffee. You took the video magic with you. <laughs> Ah, y'all are funny. Hopefully we're okay. Um, it's it's just raining outside. I wouldn't think that we would, you know, who knows? Who knows? Okay, so we're back to this. Put a little backing on it. You see how that really brings out that that line, that dark black line and this over here. Cute is that. Go ahead and glue it down. Oh, look how pretty that is. Don't don't look at it. Don't look. <laughs> Let me check on my video quality. This is that travel paper we were using the other day. Travel girl. My video. This is that paper. Um, I think it's still in the store. I'm not sure. I think we still have some of this in the store. It's the... Oh. It's that travel... Let me, let me just... Get real quick. Angela Rutledge says her ex-husband drove the Dollar Tree and wouldn't let her go in. What? <laughs> he knows you. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let me see. Uh, where is that paper? Oh. I don't know what happened. Oh, once we got disconnected, I just put everything down and just stopped what I was doing. That's the traveling girl paper. So fun. Because you could use it for lots of different things. <coughs> Tisha says, my husband is okay with my crafting. If my husband told me no crafting and no crap, well, no watching crafters, I would ignore him. <laughs> that's why he that's why he's okay with it, because he knows you're gonna ignore him anyway. So he might as well be okay with it. Y'all are too funny. 
Asia says, now you know why I call him no, X. Like the X. <laughs> so that's why he's the X. Y'all are too funny. Hi, Michelle. Trito. Uh, Karen Hankerson says, the banner makes it look like an anniversary card. Oh. Linda Hubbard says, know. love how you attach the tag. I thought it would be fun to have something kind of coming off of there. Looking for something like a, uh, let's see, something to go at the bottom. I want it to be sitting on something. I need it to be sitting on something. So let's see what we got here. This card's going to have all kind of colors in it, okay? <laughs> biscuit! Bill waking up Biscuit, okay. It's too late. Linda says he already heard me. <laughs> for those of you that are new, that Biscuit... That is so funny. Biscuit is Linda Huffman's dog, and for some reason, I irritate him. Bill... <laughs> Tracy look at me like, I understand. Well... I'm fully, okay? Well, Biscuit, dogs are smart. <laughs> You gotta understand, I'm one of those kind of guys, I wake up in the morning and just pop one out of the bed. Hello! He, yeah, when you say he wakes up like this, he, he surely does, y'all. He wakes up like this. Linda said he ran away when, he, when I called his name. Mm. This kid, you better come back in here. Look, Gooby's like, I can feel your pain. <laughs> oh, look at that. I messed up. I gotta line that up. Bill, stop throwing me off here. Linda, I mean, Lori Boker says, my best friend and I went swimming, and she had long hair. It started behind her, and she screamed so loud, seaweeds are following me. <laughs> she must uh, have some love, really that, long hair. That is hilarious. Okay. The hair was following her. You know what? That I, is went, I went to Walmart yesterday. I was talking to Tracy on the phone, and... I was just looking everywhere. Oh, I got to show them what you for found. For the car already. keys, for the car keys that oh. were in my hand. I was looking at the phone in my hand because I, I, I knew I said, well, I got the phone in my hand. And I kept put, checking my hand, my pockets with the phone, with the keys right in my hand. Anyway. Okay, I'm almost finishing up, y'all. So I want that to be sitting like right there. Okay, Ky Kyra. See that? Uh, do me a favor. Just in case. Kyra, you, with the digital downloads, send me an email at admin at minuscrafting.com. Yes. And worst case scenario, I will, I will personally send them to you. Let's see. I'm putting the link up now. Yeah, everyone's going to, who's already signed up, is going to get this, um, the fishbowl automatically. I just put the email up there, uh, Kyra. Kyra Kahlo. Scrapping like a, scrapping like a lady. <laughs> Don't we have someone whose name, that's the uh, YouTube channel name. Yeah, too, right? Kyra, Kyra Kahlo. Oh. Scrapping like a lady. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, there you go. Coffee, y'all. I need coffee. There you go. Fishy, fishy in the brook. Y'all know that saying. Libra. Daddy Libra. caught him. On a hook. You know the rest? Um... Mommy put him in. Why does mommy have to be the one put him in the pan? You know what I'm saying? Because mommy, mommy know how to get it. That go down, get down with it, okay? Mommy put him in the pan. And I'll finish this part. Uh -huh. And daddy ate him. No, baby ate him baby like him. a man. Baby ate him like a man. That's it. I, that <laughs> that was, was either the world book or no, child that was childcraft. That childcraft was my, encyclopedia. <laughs> out of everything, that was my favorite little thing in there. I love that one. 
<laughs> Linda Hoffman is hilarious. She said, I don't have a husband, but when I do, my crafting will be in the prenup. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Trips to Dollar Tree once a week. Hobby Lobby. Michael's. That is too funny. She said it will be in the prenup. Do not play with me with my crafting. Oh, 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 Linda. You said, where did I put it? No, the digital. I haven't. Uh, I haven't. I haven't put it up yet. I'm gonna put that fishbowl digital up in the site officially after this live. And for those of you that have signed up to the digital download email list, I'm going to automatically send you all that digital download. So you got all of that. <laughs> I hope I said enough. I uh, got it all in one mouthpiece or whatever, however you say it. Mm. That was childcraft, really. Yep, childcraft. Vanessa Angel says her kids won't let her in a craft store because they know. I always tell Bill I'm just going to run into Dollar Tree for a moment. Sonny mm -hmm. Creel says, girl, honey, I don't go to any craft store with anybody. Yeah, because even, you want to just be able to just look around and be. And if you go to another, and you don't want someone saying, it. "You ready? You ready? You ready?" Who says you ready? that? You ready? You ready? <laughs> you ready? You ready? You ready? Be yeah, what? You ready? <laughs> you, said, you ready? You said who said that? My ex husband. Did you said, see that? Are you ready? Look, my ex husband said that. <laughs> look, hold on. I'm gonna tell you how to go to the craft store with Tracy. <laughs> I like to just go and sit in the car. I don't care how long she stays there because my phone is fully charged. My back, I have a backup <laughs> backpack in the. You uh, watch a whole movie, okay? I just watch, sit there and watch something. Netflix, use the YouTube, or take a class or something, and I will stay there. And I, I told him he hours, has to be careful care. because he has to be alert. I tried to sneak up on him one time, and he didn't even see me approach the car. You need to be alert, darling. That's true. And not so caught up in... Uh, Especially in this time of day. Right. Day and time. Now, we go to the grocery store. Oh, he ain't waiting in the car. He coming in. <laughs> Just don't let him leave with the cart. Uh-uh. Mm. Yeah, Hold on. Vanessa part. says, Bill takes a nap when Tracy goes to the crib. So, no, I don't. He doesn't. He actually is going to either learn something... I, he'll watch like some kind... He'll be on YouTube University. Right. That, that To me, that's a tremendous opportunity... I finally have time when I'm not. If I go into my into the garage, my keyboard is attached to the computer, and the tendency is to want to play it. So it's a serious distraction sometimes. That looks so adorable. So in the car, I have nothing to distract me. Oh my goodness! Hugs and fishes. Tisha, we're not even going to talk about Amazon craft shopping, okay? Hmm. <laughs> Tracy got some stuff down no. there now. She had no. Problem. No, Bill. Look. Yes, Tracy. Um. Okay, I do have one. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was getting ready to go down and get it. No, buy me the chopper until she's going to the dentist. Good luck. She said she'll see us tomorrow night. Hope you have teeth when we see you. <laughs> we won't know, babe. She's, okay. Ricky, I mean, and she said, Bill, you don't have teeth now. Well, hey. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Y'all, I know that when I when we go live, we can certainly get a laugh with y'all, okay? We can certainly get a laugh. Oh, Karen Hogram. She says that's a cute stamp set, Tracy. I didn't see it in the store though. Does Bill need the loaded steel? This is that sneak peek, Karen, that everyone's been talking about. Yeah, this is the sneak peek stamp set. That's confusing people. Not, uh, not the foot fishbowl though. Yeah, the fishbowl is getting loaded. Freebie that's going to be loaded in right after this. Yeah, I wasn't going to reveal this until um, until the you know mindless crafting at midnight. But which is what I wanted to do. Yeah, Bill did. Look, you see now he's. I didn't want to confuse anyone. So no, this is a preview. See, Karen's confused now. <laughs> see, Karen, I'm sorry. See, <sighs> why'd y'all start this man on here like this? Yeah, so this is the one that's gonna. But this is free, okay? This is going to be the freebie. Asia. Asia says, my ex likes to lecture me on going in the store and only getting what he what he went in the store for. Mm. I don't care what you went in the store for. 
<laughs> I'm me and you're you, okay? I will remember that when we go into the store. Make sure that, I'm make sure that, that you do. But you know what, though? <laughs> <laughs> I do not have to go to the grocery store with Tracy. I can't get nothing. Right. I, I pick up something. Tracy looks at me, snaps her head, and looks at me. I'm like, shh. You know what it's called, y'all? It's called a budget. It's called shut up, That's push what... <laughs> the basket, and don't touch nothing. <laughs> don't touch nothing. That's what it's called. And in fact, one day, Tracy, Look, Bill, I was so upset one day. Remember that day? I didn't talk. <laughs> Remember the time I went to the grocery store? I wouldn't talk. I wouldn't say nothing. I was so mad. There was two times when you were really I mad. was really upset because I really wanted to get I was so hungry, but I couldn't eat nothing. Uh, Karen With said, this stupid diet. Look what Karen said. It doesn't take much to confuse me these days. LOL. Bill, that is not a stupid diet. It's called a it's life. Called it's called not being able to eat anything but water <sighs> and oatmeal with nothing in it. <laughs> well, y'all, he had uh, we had cod last night, and it was delicious. It was really good. It was delicious. See, I put I put some pepper in there so that you felt like you were getting something. Yeah, and light seasoning. It was really good. I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna lie. That is that turned out really cute, but now I gotta I gotta do I gotta do one more thing, y'all. How many of y'all ordered stuff from Amazon? I gotta do one more thing. And try to hide it from y'all, uh, from from your other half. I have not tried to. Hide I know it from Benny you. do it. Look, Benny, don't try to fool me, okay? <laughs> All guys do because we have to sneak our stuff in. Okay? You don't sneak your stuff in, yes, babe. I, do. I got stuff right now. You don't know. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> See? Look how good I am. Oh my Look how effective. She don't even know now. Y'all stop throwing Asia's ex under the bus. I hear stuff <laughs> so good I can't even find it myself no more. <laughs> Look at Lynn, Lynn said, what's a budget? <laughs> I found something in the downstairs in the camp the other day in the garage that I ordered like at least about eight months ago. <laughs> and I was looking for it. Couldn't like, find what is it. this? I hid it from myself. Mm. <laughs> what is this, darling? Hmm. You know, y'all, see, see? Okay. Yes. Yes. Let me in on the conversation. Yes. To your weed. Yeah, Mrs. Dash Lord. does. Okay. Oh, someone asked you. Go ahead, man. The yes is this. Yes is... Uh, Karen is say, telling Brian to search in his emails on the minus crafting. And all emails containing the words minus crafting will show up. Look at the, the research skills, okay? And and also go in the in the in the promotion section. Sometimes it goes to junk mail. Oh yes, it sure does. I see people's orders go to junk mail. The confirmation? Yeah. Yes. Right. Or if you don't get your confirmation, then check, check your email just to make sure we have the right email. That's the other thing. Libra Balance says, oh my God, we must all be married to the same guy. <laughs> Libra. <laughs> Lynn R Risser says, do budget and crafting belong in the same sentence? Ooh, no. Lynn. Look, now I have told, it's when he leaves with the cart. Mm. That's where the problem happens. Especially if food is already in there. I'm gonna He's hide like, it I'll so go good. get it. Right. He'll strategically hide it under a larger <laughs> upside like, down and yeah, all kind of stuff. Like mm, he'll put this like underneath stuff and come back. Hmm. He'll like I'm I don't gonna... know how this fried shrimp got in his basket. <laughs> <laughs> that part. <laughs> there was one time we actually got into it at the um where was it, Bill? We was it? We were at the Kroger. Yeah, when you went and got those um those sodas. Oh my God, I wanted that soda so bad. Yes, you did. You was not blaming on Ariel. Ariel likes this. Right. So Ariel was like, Ariel you, needs this. Ariel said, "Could you please stop using me for your excuse to get stuff?" Ariel needs this cream soda. <laughs> please get it for her. 
Ariel got on you one time too. She was like, please eat healthy. She said, I need you to be here. Yep, that's exactly what she said. For my for the senior Aww. grandkids. I she said, Oh, are you trying to tell us something? No, I didn't say that. She didn't say that. Whenever that she, happens. She didn't say that. <laughs> I'm not trying to say. I'm saying when that moment comes. Yeah. It's all in fun, though. And it'll probably be 20 years from now, so <laughs> I need you to really be healthy. Oh, Mercy's pages. Benny Freak said, he's always mad at me because I hide stuff in the cart. Yeah. But Bill has already started losing weight. I have. He's lost about seven pounds, right, babe? I think more now. Probably more. Than that. Yeah, so now that we've started doing our kettleball um, I love kettleball. workout. And he likes it's fun. Well, I can see immediate results. Hi, Loopy. Loopy Anaya. Loopy's like, I'm going to mess up my name. I finally came. You're going to say my name wrong. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm out. <laughs> Cardi girl. She said, I wish I could lose seven pounds. Cardi, go and look up a kettleball. And the benefit, health benefits of kettleball workout. And then get one. Yeah, all you need is one. It's fun. It's actually fun. It's different. So we've never done this before. It's like a combination. Okay, you have that aerobic movement. And then you have the weight part of it too. So, I mean, a 20-minute workout, believe me. Oh, you are sweating. Okay. It is not so hard as you can't do it. It's, it's, it's really good. Linda Huffman. Yeah, look it up. Go on YouTube. Linda says, what is a kettleball? Ket it's actually kettlebell. Oh, I'm sorry. My fault. Kettlebell. Forgive me. I keep saying the wrong thing. We got kettle kettlebell. They have so many different varieties of workouts using the kettlebell. Mercy says she be hiding stuff. Benny Freak. And where those ding dongs come from? That's what she said. Well, you know what, uh, Cardi girl? She said, I see it, but it gives you muscles. It actually um Don't do it heavy. Right. Don't do like heavy, 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 heavy. If you lift heavy, it's going to get it's gonna bulk you up. So I have to kind of like because I want a certain amount of musculature on me, I have to do a combination like in between. But it gives you enough cardio too so that you burn calories. Right, and believe me, it's gonna yeah. be if you once you get to the point where you start getting in shape instead of, well, you don't have to do it with the video anymore. Instead of doing 10 repetitions, you can say, okay, now I'm going to say it the same weight, but I'm going to do 20. Now I'm going to do 30. Now I'm going to do 50. And I'm telling you, you're going to start to get a strength and your body's going to get that lean tone. If that's what you're going aerobic for. Aerobic looking right. thing. Yeah, so I... Linda says, look, crafting is my cardio. <laughs> Linda Huffman. Linda said it in a nutshell. Okay. Cardi girl says, I just use pink weights. You can do that too. Yeah. I have the uh, the smaller weight. So now if I was to do that, I would actually now, especially that we're getting, um, being more physically active, then we'll start doing, going back to the walking again. And um, getting the punching bag, hitting the punching bag, and start to do other things. But right now, those kettlebells, um, you can do kettlebells for weight loss, uh, for muscles, you know, the whole bit. So it's good to carry a certain amount of muscle because muscle burns fat. Asia says, exercise. I thought you said extra fries. <laughs> Y'all... <laughs> Might have been thinking it, you know. Oh my goodness, y'all are funny. Yeah, Vanessa, I did say kettleball, but y'all know what I meant, okay? Kettlebell. Kettle he has me calling it kettleball too. Sonia Creel says she likes step aerobics better. Oh, step aerobics like is something else. Yeah, I just like dancing. I would like, to, you know, you work up a good sweat with dancing too. Marcia Burton says, "Are you using more than one stamp set?" Yes, I'm actually using more than one. So this this little uh, shell here is part of the um, Be a Mermaid stamp set, right? The bubbles is also, right? 
And then you got the sympathy stamp set, which I thought, hey, I need something in there. Let me use the sympathy stamp set to do this, right? So yeah, don't be afraid to kind of mix and match your, um, because they'll all like come together. Nikki says she likes to do one called Body Groove because it's all dancing. You know what? That's Shaleen workout. Shaleen. And it's got a nice beat to it. So kind of before you know it, it's done, you know, because you did all of the, she does a good job too. That's that. She's one of my favorites. She is good. Cardio. It's like, I think she has Shaleen's cardio party or something like that. Shaleen Johnson. But my knees, y'all, my knees and one of my ankles is just not. Mm -mm. Sonia Creel says, I love that, Sam Tracy. You just showed the mermaid. The mermaid was actually Ariel, our daughter. She was the model for that. Yep. That's the, um, that is the, this is the six by eight. Yeah. I, I love this. It's just, you know, and it's available. In John did also. such a good job with that. Yeah, we made it in digital first, and there were so many requests for it. We made it into a photo model. Yeah, so this is on. Um, this is still in the store in digital too. So, but you see the difference in the size. I like the larger sizes because they allow me to really make it the the focal point of that card. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shelly Taylor does body groove. Body groove. Lisa Lynn Rice likes dancing and step aerobics. I love dancing too. And the step aerobics. Kyra Kahlo. Bill, look me jump look at me jumping all around the living room like I'm like a crazy woman. Kyra says I hate working out. I understand, Kyra. Yeah. The doctor told me I had to though, so Yeah. Other than that, I would be right there with you. Joanne Gilbertson says, I only, I lost, only lost two pounds, but it's better than nothing. Yep. I one time Tracy went to, uh, what's that place you went to where you lose weight? Oh, Weight, weight Watchers. Watchers. Tracy yeah, went yeah. to Weight Watchers, okay? They shamed me in If there. you saw what Tracy looked like at the time when she walked in there, she looked like a physical specimen. No, okay? no. Uh-uh, babe. I needed Tracy. To, to do some stuff. Tracy. Seriously. Tracy. By your standards, she needs to do they something. They shame me, okay. She looked like she could... Okay, Tracy used to be an all-American uh, sprinter, right? She didn't look too far off from that form when she walked into the Weight Watchers class, and the people looked at her with such disdain. And what are you doing in here? Bill, I was in my 40s, babe. I had some weight on me. About two pounds, maybe. And then I, the first week I won this prize for the for the most weight <coughs> loss, and everybody really was looking at me like you had to quit after that, didn't you? Uh, well, we started going to that gym. You remember? We started mm -hmm. going to that gym. Okay, y'all. So, what do you think? Look, just get your stamps out. You're gonna have fun with this. Get your stamps out. That looks and so start nice. Stamping these images out and doing your thing. You know. Asia says she lives on the second floor, climbing the stairs, all the exercise she needs. There you go. Ooh, Sonia Creel says, I wonder how the fishbowl will look under the glossy accents. Oh, what I'm going to do. Oh, you know what? Like the bubbles or something. Or, hmm. or some element of it. I'm going to put some of these glossy accents on the bubbles. But I would think some of these smaller ones would be cute, too. Right? You can use these and put flowers in them or whatever, can't you? Let me yep, see something. Could. I want because I want to stamp another thing out here. Margie LeBeau says Tina Turner, Turner dances the best. She dances so much energy. She make you tired just to look at it. Y'all remember that? What's that? Remember that movie with uh, was it Flash Dance? I tried to do my legs at the same speed as that lady. I couldn't even do. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how they move my Look, feet about a centimeter. I have, off I have the a picture in my mind of, no, you, no, no, of no. you doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I said, how in the world 
know that she's doing her legs that fast and that high. Look, I have a picture in my mind of Bill doing that, and it doesn't look good. Okay. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Just gonna stamp this in here. But back in the day, I could do it. I remember that. Back in the day. Look how, oh my goodness, look how that looks. Brenda says, you want to lose weight, come and do her job for one month. Mm. Brenda, after one day, we probably crawling into the look house. Look how cute that looks. Help. Trying to pull up on the bed. just. So you can stamp out a color, a bunch of these in, do your coloring practice, and then stamp something inside of it. I love that color you put behind the fishbowl. It just kind of really makes everything pop on the card. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. Oh, I got two little starfish here. Here at Harbor says, get a start on your Christmas cards. Turn the fishbowl over, cut off the base, and use it as a snow globe. That's what someone was saying. Such a good idea. Okay, before we go, y'all, because we got to take some naps. <laughs> we got to nap before that mindless crafting at midnight. Cindy W. says, it's terrible to say, but I have lots of exercise equipment here at home. At home Don't we all? And go way too far between workouts. Cindy. Bill had to have this punching bag. The, okay. The, 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 let me talk about the punching bag. He had to have this Hold punching the, bag, the, and it's huge, okay? One of the best pieces of equipment I ever had was the, 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 the what's that dude's name? The, the martial artist, the little short dude. The Chuck Norris sliding board thing. I, I had, that was the best clothes hanger I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> it, it dried my clothes perfectly. I put it right by the window. <laughs> Asia says, I love the starfish. That starfish is adorable. Yes. So now you, you can do little embellishments using the starfish. So now you instead of the, you know, you, know like what? you, you put the starfish in there. Kieran Hogan says How the smaller adorable. ones remind her of Chinese lanterns. You could turn them to the oh side, Kieran, and make the side shorter so it is it's even more. Just squeeze it like that. You can right and then flip with your, it. Right. You can do that with the um, flip it vertically. Because it's digital. So now y'all gonna make me have to keep you just a little bit longer to cut this out. Bye, Donna. Donna says to go now. She says, see you tomorrow night. Thank you so much for all that Thank you. Thank you, Donna. Yes, Tanya Crew, that's what it was called. The total gym. <laughs> the total <laughs> clothes know, rack. He didn't even know what it was called. The total clothes dryer. So now if I want to sit here all afternoon and do these little this is going to be fun to turn into it. Yes, a, uh, Cindy. The fishbowl is a digital download that I haven't put in yet. I'm going to put in yes, right after that's that. Yes, that's a freebie for y'all. After this live. It'll be in there maybe about an hour after the live. Because we love you. And that's those a free of one. you that have already signed up, I'm going to send it directly to you so you'll have it. Now that I think about it, you can use the mason jar too and put the mason jar, the fish inside the mason jar. And exactly. use that, you know. Cindy says, beautiful color job on that bowl, Tracy. Thank you. Tracy's going to go outside and make a snowman. Oh. Snake. Snake. I meant, I was thinking about to say trade while looking at snowman. Oh, my goodness. And it came out <laughs> snake. It's time for lunch <laughs> for you, dear. He needs lunch. Brenda, Brenda says she had to look up crafting and budget, and she found nothing listed. <laughs> okay. And so, look, now you put the little starfish in Thank here. you, Lupe. Lupe just put the link for the, the mermaid. Thanks, Lupe. Oh, thing. How cute is that? So now you just add a little bit of dimension to it. Can y'all tell I'm having fun? Can't wait till mindless crafting at midnight. Cindy, she does a workout called Trim Healthy Mama. Hmm. Is that on um is it on YouTube or is that that's a workout, right?
since we're just getting back into it, we don't want to, you know, we want to be careful not to injure ourselves. Bye, Trey. Trey has to go. She says, see you tomorrow night. Awesome. We're almost done here. I just got to do those bubbles and stuff. Thank you, Lupe. Lupe just put the bow bunny dot jewels link to the store. Oh, thank you. So now you got your little um can have her outside okay. the bowl. Cindy says it's an eating plan, but they do have a workout attached oh. to it if you want to do that. She start with the eating part of it. So you see how that turned out. Now you could put your little um you could put a little bow around it or whatever. And so now you have that. So much you can do. So now I'm going to put this on. This will be the last thing. Is to put the glossy accents on here. Oh, hey. let me test it out first. <laughs> Don't want to go and mess up the card now. Asia says, check out her Easter gnomes later. Where are they at, Asia? The minor scrapping group? Okay. I bet you they're awesome. You're doing good, Loopy. Seriously. Loopy says, I'm trying to be like the moderators that post product links when Tim Holtz goes online. Oh, we try to do that so too. Sweet. Usually uh Donna Sally is so fast and gets them in before I can get them in there. And you're about at the same speed, to be perfectly honest. I appreciate that. So now the bubbles, you got these bubbles here, y'all. Look how cute. Show y'all what that looks like. And so it. if I just don't want to put the stamp the bubble, I can also do it here. Okay. And just have a bunch of them coming out of here. Just make little circles, circle dots. Okay, let, let me explain this right quick, Grace. To Kyra, Kyra Kahlo, she says, what Mindless Crafting Group? Okay, on Facebook, Kyra, we have a group called the Mindless Crafting Group. It's on Facebook. It's probably about 6,000 plus strong uh, it's a it's a non-threatening nurturing group. It's not, not right. It's not a place where anyone's coming to criticize or a comment adversely. They may comment, but it's gonna be something that can help just get, positive. get you to the next level, yeah. positive encouragement. And then you, and you share your stuff. You just right, come and share your stuff, get ideals. I got I've gotten so many ideals from all, most of you in there. Yes. When I do happen to craft. So check it out. Go to the Minus Crafting Group on Facebook. You got to be confronted with three questions, though. You have to answer those questions or you won't get in. So make sure you answer them. This is so cute. So I got to wait till those dry, and I got to be careful. Look at that. But you can do the whole globe if you want. I mean, the, the whole uh, fish bowl globe. <laughs> you can do the whole fish bowl, though. Tracy, if you want to, Brenda Bowen says she moves 35 pounds up, up, uh, up to 90 pound barriers most of the day at work. Oh, my goodness, I'm not exercising, so you're, so you're good then. You like those those monks on the kung fu movies that you said to take the water and go up the mountain. You're mad, Trace. I do. You're good then, Brenda. That turned out really nice. And so I might just take some of these or maybe even some stickles and just go. I gotta I don't want to mess that up, but just go like right along here and right along the bottom here. So now let me show you what I'm gonna fill that shaker up for when we make the shaker tomorrow during the uh mindless crafting at midnight. Bill went to Walmart, y'all. And look what he got me. He got me aquarium gravel. I told him get me the small. This was the smallest. That was bag? the smallest. That was the only bag. He got me a small bag of aquarium gravel because y'all said. Turn the other side. You can really see well, it's got lots. Yeah. Y'all said, hey, you can put gravel in there, and I could not stop thinking about it. So we're gonna make these into shakers. We're gonna use the um, the fish bowl. And we're going to turn it into a shaker. So I haven't tried it out yet, but I think it'll work. I thought that would be a good idea. So whoever came up with that idea, I can't remember. Thank you so much. And those, I figured Tracy would like that. 
My God, Brenda says I can carry 60 pound water packs up the mountain running. You like the mother on Waterboy that tackled the daddy at the end. Remember that? <laughs> you can also, here's another thing you can use. You can use blue sequins um, for your shaker. If you want to do like a, uh, you want to have the, you know, thing about like the water. You could do that too. So that's just another, just another idea for y'all. Anything that can kind of be water. You could even mix some of these. I actually, do we have these in blue in the store? Babe? Do you remember? Uh, we have these in blue. I think we do, right? Let me look. You could use the um, chunky glitter. Let me look. So if you don't want to use this, but hey, I think this will be cute in the shaker. Yes, wait, wait. I think we do. Priscilla said, Bill and Tracy, I've had you guys on all this time, but been cleaning up the kitchen. How much stuff you got? I in love your the sentiments as well as the fishbowl. <laughs> fishbowl card you're making. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you, Simon. I'll have Creole. to watch you on the replay. Awesome, Priscilla. Yeah, watch the replay. Asia says you can use bath salts too. You can use bath salt. You can, I, cause I have, um, yep, you sure can. Is someone the other day said macaroni and Epsom cheese. Epsom salt. Colorful. Oh, yeah. someone said the macaroni, right? Look, you said macaroni and cheese. Well, look well at, not the cheese you, part you, of it. Look, you I see, got hungry when I said it. You see what he's thinking, right? You could also use, I'm just giving y'all different ideas. Uh, some light blue paper, if you have blue paper in your um, stash. So you can print these out on blue paper i like coloring them in but this is just another option if you want to use this for your um your fish bowl karen says i wonder if you could dye the glitter with alcohol ink hmm. i've never thought about it never thought about it but if you say test it out and see let us know right if you if you live if you say then we it know be done if you thinking about it Hey. Vanessa Angel says, I've been crafting the whole time. Awesome. I love it. Hi, Deborah Walker. Deborah, you're not late. Okay, you are late. I'll say, you was on that track to say that, but I'll say it. So, yeah, this was, this was fun. It's 2 o'clock now, Ooh. so we're going to go ahead and... and um, and uh, end this live. Don't forget tomorrow we're going. This will be in the store. Okay. Ooh, Ruby says you can use faded jeans ink for water backgrounds. It's made by Tim Holt. Oh yes, you can. We actually have. I think we have the faded jeans yeah, we in do. our store. Yeah. Well, I think we do. I think there's still some left. Yeah. So um, yes. This will be in the store. Uh, we do have the... Um, Bill's going to release this. He's going to actually set this up once he gets off of here. <laughs> Linda, don't say it. Shh, Linda. Right. She said, no thumbs down. Yay. Shh, Linda. Let's hurry and get off. They're, Quick, they're they listening. Do it. They're listening. They'll do it after. It's okay. And um, for those of you that don't know, we did release uh, another digital... Last, um, if y'all didn't see me, I posted this in the group. We'd release the uh, Unity stamp set um, last Friday. Bill did the, the tutorial. I did. Yep, he did. So this one is also in our store. This is in our store now, the digital Unity, Unity stamp set. Here's the other one. I had so much fun doing this. This was so fun. Let me not mess up my little cards here. I'm going to add that one down somewhere. Okay. So, our differences are what make us special. I don't think I posted this one in the group yet. I think I put it in the... Uh... If you, on the front page of MinusCrafting.com, when you uh, hover over the Unity digital stamp set, you'll see that 
All right, so this is the ones that I did with the Unity. Here's the other one. And I kind of mixed and matched some of these. Looks like you're ready to do something with that other one up there. Look at that. How cute. There's so many messages in that. Yes. You Karen, you know what? It. Bill, write this down. Okay. Uh, because not only remaking it, but doing one um, at a wheelchair user. Doing a whole stamp set dedicated to that would be awesome, too. What is it? Karen Hallgren. She said, if you make, uh, if you remake the Unity set or add to it, can you add a wheelchair user? That would be a good one. I would just, we should dedicate a stamp set. Um, I think that someone asked me about that before too. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So this was just one that I was working with. So fun, fun, so much creations going on during the pandemic, right? A special needs would be excellent. Yes. Hi, Danielle B. I think that would be an excellent um, stamp set. Creative Girl of Color with Danielle B says, congratulations on the stamp set. Oh, thank you. All right, y'all, we're getting ready to get off here. I know you don't believe it. Let me have your notes, babe. I just want to write this down real quick. I need to write this down. Uh, let's see. Deb C, I see your message. I I gotta write this down because I, I don't wanna um I don't wanna forget. Hi, Crystal B. Queen. Crystal B. Queen says I have big plans for this digital. The group's name, uh Minus Crafting Group on Facebook, that one. Yeah, and I'll put it in. I usually put the link in the description, too. I'll put this right here. Yep. Yeah, come join us. We have a good time there. Everyone is just so fun, and it's just like having a family. It makes you smile when you go in there, too. I always say that. And then we also have the Mindless Crafting Prayer Group, too. Just make sure in that Mindless Crafting Group on Facebook, you answer those three questions if you want to get in. Oh, thank you, Karen. Karen is on it. She shared the uh, the link. Oh, thank you. Because you won't get in without it. It's just something like, what kind of crafting do you do? Where did you hear it? Was that kind of thing. But Brenda, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, I just like to have fun, you know? And so crafting makes me happy. And Bill knows happy, look, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> part of it, right. <laughs> and the happy life part of it is mine, okay? There you go. See y'all tomorrow for Mindless Crafting at midnight. Y'all, I don't know what's going to, I don't know how it's going to go down. I know we're going to make, we're going to do the shaker, the fishbowl shakers. I don't have it all worked out yet, but I believe it can happen. Y'all get some rest, okay? Yeah, Crystal, get some rest. Y'all take care. Bye.